and every 10 minutes someone is added to the national transplant waiting list. Mr. Bagby found himself on that list for the first time over a decade ago. After one transplant, he's back on that list again, searching for a second kidney. WFMY News 2 shares his story of resilience. Stephen Bagby is a local business owner. I come in, I do what I can, and then I have to go to treatment. And loyal father of five. He's a great, great and patient dad. Currently searching for a living kidney donor. This isn't the first time Bagby's body failed him. He first found out his kidneys weren't functioning properly in his mid-20s. I came home from work one day and I had a lot of swelling in my legs. My wife says, honey, that's, that's not normal. So we went to the doctor, they ran some tests, and they said, hey, your kidney function has gone way down. The condition of his kidneys was linked to an untreated case of strep throat. In 2013, he received his first kidney transplant. There was a family friend who had had an accident at work and he ended up um, brain dead. He now has three kidneys. His two native kidneys weren't removed as they did not pose a threat to his health. They just didn't work. But now his transplant is failing too. Currently, none of them are working. So they would go in and add another one. Bagby's wife and co-owner of their heating and cooling company has been by his side throughout this entire journey. And while the two remain hopeful, Bagby has already been waiting nearly three years for another kidney. It's anywhere from five to seven years. In our area, um, it's about seven years. When asked what a transplant would give the couple and parents of five, they both said time. More time with their children, their company, and with each other. If you're looking to donate or see if you are a match for Stephen, we'll have more information on how to sign up over on WFMYNews2.com. The questionnaire takes about four minutes and you're not locked in to any decisions.